We are one day away from the 2023 NFL Draft and right here on Philadelphia Eagles. Now we will be live for the entire first round. Make sure you subscribe and join us because you don't want to miss it. As for what we're going to be bringing to you, analysis for every pick in the first round. Of course, when the Eagles pick at number 10 and number 30, we'll be talking about the prospects who will be making their way to the city of brotherly love. If the Eagles make a trade, we'll be talking about that too. Super Chat giveaways and Super Chat games as well it's gonna be a blast now if our channel isn't for you which would really surprise me you can also tune in to our main chat sports youtube channel because throughout all three days of the nfl draft we'll be live for every round talking about every pick our coverage on our main chat sports youtube channel begins on thursday at six o'clock eastern so a couple of programming options for you it's youtube.com slash chat sports tv and with that eagles pre-draft rumors are scorching hot right now let's break it all down on today's show Today's Philadelphia Eagles now is presented by Manscaped, a great deal for the Fly Eagles Fly family, 20% off and free shipping on their beard products and the products below the belt because you don't want to have a George W. Bush for your significant other. It's manscaped.com slash chat promo code chat. We'll tell you more about them coming up here just around the corner. So let's begin with Bijan Robinson. One of the big topics of conversation here on the show because I have become infatuated and obsessed with the idea of him being the team's running back for the next four to five years. And Bijan Robinson, does he want to play with the Philadelphia Eagles? He was asked in an interview on ESPN if he could play with any quarterback in the National Football League out Outside of Patrick Mahomes, who would it be? You know who he said? He said Jalen Hurts is the quarterback who he would like to play with. And in the pre-draft process for Bijan Robinson, he's only visited with two teams, the Philadelphia Eagles and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. And he also said that his visit with Philadelphia was awesome. It was great, Bijan said, with both teams that I was with, just building relationships with the coaches, the support staff, the general manager, even the janitor. The janitor was super cool, too. It was an awesome visit, and for me, I pride myself on relationships and building those relationships and understanding who people are. So even when I was with the Eagles, the Buccaneers, just talking to other teams as well, it has been such a fun process understanding who those people are and just having a good time throughout the whole process. But it was a good time there, but obviously I can't choose. And Thursday, we'll just have to see what exactly happens in the first round of the NFL draft. Now, according to some of the pre-draft buzz here, Philadelphia Eagles could take Bijan, but the Atlanta Falcons, also a team at number eight, who could be in play for Bijan services as well. Now, they did last year draft Tyler Algier, late round running back, who went on to have a really good season as a fifth round pick. But Bijan, he's a different breed. He's a different type of cat and an extremely unique player. For the Atlanta Falcons, they're not in a position that the Eagles are. Win now mode. Super Bowl contention. Did they have a pretty busy offseason? For sure. I think they have larger needs elsewhere on that roster, whereas the Eagles, they don't have a lot of needs. Could they use the right tackle in the future? For sure. Could they use the right guard? No doubt. Defensive tackle, edge rusher, those are the areas, cornerback as well, where Howie Roseman likes to build his team through a foundational way. But the Eagles also have a need for a running back, and Bijan would be able to come in, make this offense astronomically better, and he could be one of the more elite weapons in 2023 as a rookie in this offense and in this game, as evidenced by the numbers that he's put up the last two years in Austin with the Texas Longhorns. So let's ask you this. I'm not going to ask you, should the Eagles draft Bijan Robinson? I want to ask you, will the Eagles draft Bijan Robinson? Give me a Y for yes or an N for no. To a trade candidate who could entice Howie Roseman in Philadelphia because what did I just say? Eagles love to build along the trenches. They love defensive linemen, offensive linemen, cornerbacks, obviously outside of quarterback. And one of the top young edge rushers in the sport could be available, and he's in this division. 
Chase Young of the Washington Commanders. According to reports, Commanders not going to exercise his fifth-year option. And if I'm the Eagles, look, they're a little bit older at the defensive end spot. I would try to offer number 30 straight up for Chase Young to see what the Commanders would do. Now, he had a very in-depth ACL surgery a couple of years ago, and because of that, missed a lot of time in 2021, missed a lot of time in 2022. The last two years, he has combined to only play 12 games, and because of that, only two sacks, but in 2020, as a rookie coming out of Ohio State, this guy's a physical specimen. He's a unique build, seven and a half sacks. When he's right, when he's healthy, he can be one of the top edge rushers in this game, but a big reason for why the commanders are not exercising that fifth-year option, some injury concerns. Here's what it comes down to for me with the skinny. Are you getting a better player than Chase Young at number 30? Probably not. But you'd probably have to pay Chase Young if he turns in a big year because he's going to be looking for a contract extension. Here's where it's a little bit concerning for the Eagles with their current crop of defensive ends. Brandon Graham, Hassan Reddick, Derek Barnett, Josh Sweat. The average age of those four edge rushers for the Eagles, 29 years and seven months. That's why the Eagles could go edge at number 10 and or at number 30 somewhere else in this NFL draft. And that's why they could look to upgrade or select a player at that position to replenish that room and get a little bit younger. Would you offer number 30 for Chase Young? I would think about it. I would do it because I think he's a really, really solid player. D for deal or P for pass. As for what we're getting into next, there is a trickle-down effect from Las Vegas in the desert to Philadelphia that these two teams could meet up and make a trade for Philadelphia to move up to number seven. Who would they select at number seven? We'll talk about that around the corner, but first... Do 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 do. That is the NFL draft sound. And the NFL draft is almost here. And the most exciting prospect is the prospect of being perfectly groomed head to toe with our friends at Manscaped. Manscaped has long had elite downfield play with Jalen Hurts, like their lawnmower 4.0. But in 2023, they have the rookie sensation Beard Hedger to ensure the face of your franchise is a pretty one. This one-two punch of men's grooming is the best acquisition for any at-home general manager. So head to manscaped.com slash chat and save some salary cap space like Howie Roseman by using our code chat for 20% off and free shipping. This year, Manscaped can help you make the sexy pick without forgetting about your big uglies up front. That's right, the Beard Hedger and Lawnmower 4.0 are a franchise-changing combo that will have you looking at your roster with pride. Your roster here, your roster all the way down there. And in the season of trimming the roster, Manscaped will make sure you're cutting all the right players and not any important pieces to your D. You see what I'm saying? So, plus, tough titanium blades, single stroke efficiency can have you going from a bushy Matt Patricia to a sleek Nick Sirianni in no time. So one more time, manscaped.com slash chat. Promo code chat for 20% off and free shipping. That link is available for you in the comment section and in the description of this video. So coming up next here, according to Rue Report, the Eagles have called the check-in on a potential trade with the Las Vegas Raiders for the seventh overall pick. Here's what Raiders scout had to say about these rumors. And I was talking to my guy Mitchell Renz, host of the Raiders Report, and he buys a lot of stock in what Raiders scout has to say. The Eagles have called to check in on a potential trade for the seventh overall pick. It's rumored that the Eagles want to move ahead of the Bears for Georgia defensive tackle Jalen Carter. Now, we talked yesterday from Walter Football in that report that the Eagles were also looking to trade up, and the apple of their eye is Jalen Carter. Now, it all depends on what the Seattle Seahawks do at number five. If Jalen Carter is off the board at five, I'm not sure that the Eagles move up. And if they do move up, is it going to be a player like Peter Skoronsky who they want to take, who they might envision being as an all-pro perennial guard? That's some of the buzz that I've been hearing out there. Or if they think that the Atlanta Falcons are going to take Bijan Robinson at number eight, 
Could the Eagles leapfrog the Atlanta Falcons and take Bijan at number seven, knowing that he could be an all-pro caliber weapon over the next four to five years. The Eagles have some flexibility with their draft capital. Why is that? Well, they fleece the New Orleans Saints, and they're picking at number 10 as of right now. But they also have another pick at number 30. That could be enticing to some teams like the Las Vegas Raiders. Round two pick at 62, round three pick at 94, and then they don't pick again until the seventh round, 219 and 248. The team that they might trade with, though, the Las Vegas Raiders, they have a lot of picks here. Number seven overall, number 38 overall. Do the Eagles maybe think there's not a huge gap between 30 and 38 with some extra value there? Raiders also have two third-round picks, 70 and 100. Round four pick at 109. Three in round five, 141, 144, 174. Two sixth-round picks, two seventh-round picks, 12 picks total for the Las Vegas Raiders. So myself and Mitch does a great job over on the Raiders Report. Make sure you subscribe, support him over there if you haven't already done so because we here under the Chat Sports umbrella, we're making it happen. We put together some trade ideas here. The Eagles could simply swap 7 and 10. The Raiders really like Devin Witherspoon. I know my guy, Jack Sperry, also likes Devin Witherspoon. Top five player on his big board, and he certainly does his research, as do I. You could simply swap seven and ten, and the Raiders can probably get Devin Witherspoon, cornerback out of Illinois, getting some Darius Slate comps at number ten, depending on how the quarterback situation goes and which quarterbacks go off the board. So here's trade idea number one here. The Raiders receive 10th overall and 62 overall. Eagles receive 7th overall. Then they get a 5th round pick at 144. Second trade idea. The Raiders, they make another deal here. And they stock up on some draft capital at number 10 and number 30. They get two first round picks here. So the Raiders get... 10 and 30. The Eagles get that pick that they really like, apparently, at number seven. Then they still get a third round pick at 100. And then two fifth round picks that they don't have right now 141 and 174. Lastly, this one's pretty juicy. Juicy, excuse me. Josh Jacobs, according to some of the rumors, not really happy with the Las Vegas Raiders right now. He wants a long term deal. Raiders inked him to that franchise tag. No long-term stability with Josh Jacobs. The Eagles right now, they have a need at running back. So this could be a trade where the Eagles don't obviously take B. John Robinson with their first pick at number 10, right? They get an edge rusher instead. Offensive guard, right tackle, another position of need for Philly. But then they're able to get that running back. 2023 play, of course, probably going all in for this upcoming year. And you get Josh Jacobs in exchange for the number 30 overall pick. Jacobs last year led the National Football League in rushing yards. They used him a lot. 340 carries, more than 1,600 yards, 12 touchdowns, a long of 86. He's still a really good back given the workload. Some injury concerns prior to 2022. Still a young player, though, and he would be a win-now player for Philadelphia. So who wins this trade and which trade do you like? One, two, or three. We want to hear from you once more down in the comment section. As always, we appreciate all of you for watching Philadelphia Eagles now as we filter through some of these trades here. Couple of different options, versatile options, and could be moves that both the Eagles and the Raiders like. Don't forget to subscribe to the show. Turn on your notice. Going to be going live for the entire first round and keep an eye out later. My final mock draft coming up on Eagles now later today.